Hello everyone. Okay, I think you're all tired already. <laughs> okay, I'm from JetBrains. I'm part of JetBrains team based out of India. So, uh, how many of you heard of JetBrains? Wow, that motivates me now. <laughs> okay, and how many of you tried PyCharm? Okay, I'm, I'm in front of the right audience then. <laughs> so, not just PyCharm, we have uh, multiple products for uh, multiple languages and we have a Kotlin language itself and uh, team tools. This is how we grew from uh, IntelliJ, starting with IntelliJ idea, the company was known uh, then IntelliJ and then uh, we grew with multiple products and PyCharm, if you see, that was in uh, down the line. <laughs> And uh, so we have multiple uh, tools, IDs for different languages for your favorite languages. That's all. So quickly, I'm just. Uh, how many of you try uh, used uh, Jupyter notebooks? Great. So I'm gonna talk about. I'm gonna show a quick demo of uh, Jupyter notebooks integration with uh, PyCharm. So here you go. So. First, we'll uh, launch a new project uh, and name it, um, say, PISA, because this is the, the data sets which we are going to use is of uh, PISA, uh, company, uh, PISA outlets in US. So have you ever try, uh, checked out this tip of the day? No? Oh, OK. Couple of folks. <laughs> Great. So this is a pretty useful feature from PyCharm. Many of us avoid it, but you know, every day it shows a tip. Every time you open it shows a tip, which is very useful. It shows the uh, shortcuts, multiple shortcuts and everything. You know, right? In PyCharm, we don't need to use uh, mouse at all. We just need to use the keyboard. For the demo purpose, I'm going to show the, uh, uh, the uh, mouse. I'm going to use a mouse. So here's a, a notebook which we are creating. We are going to create a new directory, which is uh, notebooks. And gonna have a file created pizza Python file, and if you see immediately, it shows the Jupyter package is not installed. So that's what PyCharm does. So it helps you when you code. So it, it asks you, it suggests you to install a Jupyter uh, package when you type ipynb and uh, the file name, and then immediately it, it uh, uh, helps you with the package. It directly downloads to the uh, PyCharm. So I'm just uh, taking a data set, a couple of data sets uh, from uh, Kraggle. So I'm just defining. So and then now we are, uh, let's investigate the uh, data sets which we have. So uh, the, uh, we'll, we'll use uh, how many columns and uh, how many rows and it is, it shows that. So for the quick reference, I'm taking the, the codes from the uh, already uh, recorded one. So if you see, see here, it's a 10,000 lines rows with uh, 24 columns. And if we go through the uh, columns, there are many unnecessary uh, 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 columns which we can eliminate. That's the most important thing is of cleaning the data set which, ha which we have, right? So if you see the, you, uh, the country, I believe it is, since we took it for, from the US, uh, uh, US market, probably the country should be, everything should be uh, US. So we can probably ignore that, remove that. So that's what we are trying to do. We are checking the count and it is, uh, if you see, it's 1000. Uh, so that means we have 1000 rows, that means everything is US. So we can simply uh, remove that. And then if you, uh, and also we can clear some unnecessary sets like uh, uh, IDs and price range, uh, US, uh, USD, the price, uh, the currency, we can remove those. And then we'll add, uh, we'll expand uh, the abbreviation uh, for the states. And then if you, next we'll just uh, try to get plot it in a, in a PISA chart. And if you see, it doesn't work because that's when you need to use the magic word <laughs> matplot uh, library. So that's what I'm trying to do. And then, 
okay the most uh, the, and again if you notice we can use cells different cells in in pycharm you just need to use command shift and enter automatically it creates a new cell and every cell uh, is uh, is compiled at a time so you don't have to compile everything together run everything together it is just that cell can be uh, run separately and then we see here we use this and we have the chart so not just a chart uh, it is a uh, uh, pie chart but also we can what we can do is we can plot it on a map so what we can do is we can take help from plotly so we use it but still it shows a, a pen error but again it helps you with all the information saying that hey plotly is missing just you need to import and then it immediate uh, immediately it imports that and this is how it looks the chart looks right so that's a very quick demo of how pycharm works and uh, how uh, we integrate a jupyter notebook and you can find all the information here yeah and thank you so you can find the data set uh, the codes and uh, uh, if you need an evaluation i mean if you want to try with the jupyter notebook you can mail us we'll help you with a couple of months uh, evaluation license and for students it's you have the free license thank you look forward to meet you at the booth thank you